Hi everyone, my name is Raja Shekhar. Welcome to my channel. This is the fourth series of our virtual production. And in this video, we'll be exploring three different ways of compositing ourselves in this virtual set. We'll be using the same subway train map for this demonstration. And we'll be using image planes for this demo. There are two 3D characters in the scene, one in the rear and the front. The first image plane which you see here will have a live camera feed and the left will have a video file attached to it and one on the right will have sequence of images attached to it. So we'll try to composite all these elements in the scene. Once this is done, we will export this scene as a video using level sequencer. I'm still exploring the Unreal Engine composure technique and its workflow. We'll keep you all posted sometime soon on compositing in detail in Unreal Engine composure and outputting using that technique. Let's get started on this video. So to begin with our camera feed to this uh, image plane. So we'll keep our live camera feed in this folder and sequence of images on this and a video file on this. If you wish to follow along, you need to make sure you have a DSLR camera, a green screen and a capture card. Inside the live folder, right click, go to media and choose media player. Put a tick mark on video output media texture asset and let's give a name. I'll call this Nikon feed. And at this point of time, make sure your camera is turned on and connected to the computer. Click on this drop down arrow, go to video and choose your camera source. We have our live camera feed. Let's save this, minimize this window. Bring up the content browser and let's wait for this video to populate. So now to create a texture, drag and drop this video on the image plane. The moment you do that, a material is created and you would right away see yourself on the image plane. We have attached our camera feed to this image plane. Still a lot to be done here. We'll uh, proceed to the next step. So let's attach our video to this image plane on the left and sequence of image to the right. You need to follow this method uh, to successfully link your video or images to the scene. Let's pull up the content browser. This is the folder for sequence of images. And this is the folder for video which I've created. Right click on this video and click on show in Explorer. Let's go to our reference folder and copy the video file and paste it in this video folder. Now let's go back to Unreal. Let's right click on the sequence images folder and choose show in Explorer. Copy the sequence of images and then get back to the sequence folder and paste it here. The moment you paste anything on the sequence folder, Unreal will prompt you to import the files. Choose do not import as we already have all the files inside the sequence folder and then the video as well. Let's drag this video file into our Unreal Engine first. Let's keep this window aside and the content browser, pull it up, go to the respective folder, drag and drop it. The moment you drop it, Unreal Engine creates a file media source. Double click on that. The Unreal Engine has already created the path for it. And this is exactly inside our Unreal Engine Compute folder. So let's save it. And let's close out. We'll be requiring a media player to play this video. For this demo, we'll create three different media players to play all these three different video types separately. So in this video folder, right click, go to media and choose media player. Put a tick mark on video output media texture asset. We'll call this video sample. Let's double click on this and let's play this one which we recently added. The moment you double click, you can see the video and set it to loop and save it. Let's close this out. So our video folder is looking good. The player has linked the video file and it has also created the media texture. Let's drag and drop this media texture to the image plane. And the moment you drag and drop it, it has turned black, but it's not playing because this window needs to be active and it needs to be set on loop. Let's minimize this. And now you can see the video is getting played on this image plane. Let's bring in our sequence of images to this image plane. Go to content browser sequence folder, right click, media, image media source. And let's choose the name sequence. 
double click on this and point the path to a folder which is inside content folder of Unreal Engine. So I already have that handy. I'm copying this path and I'll paste the path here and choose open. And now I'll pick the first sequence and give open. Save the progress. Close it out. You can have this window minimized for now. Now inside the sequence folder, let's create one more media player to reference this sequence of images. Media, media player, put a tick mark on this. I'll, I'll call this image sequence. I'll double click on this. The number one is a video and this is our image sequence. Let's double click on that. And now we can see the sequence of image is playing as well. Let's set it to loop. The video is getting rendered, that's why you can see it's getting stuck here and there. So let's have this minimized. And to bring our video sequence on the image plane, drag and drop this image video texture onto the image plane. Let's give it some time as it's getting rendered. Both the video and the image sequence is playing. Uh, you can see it's stuck because it's rendering, that's why you can notice it's freezing here and there. Uh, let's get back to the front and we need to start the media player for this one as well so go to the live folder click on feed and let's point to our camera we have three elements on screen now we have a live camera feed we have a video file and then we have a sequence of image it looks like it's still rendering the moment you click on play all your elements turn black so we need to add all the information of these elements to the level blueprint we will key out this green screen and then we'll proceed to the level blueprint part. So let's fire up our chroma key alone. To key out the green screen, open the content browser in the live folder, get inside the video material. And let's disconnect all the nodes, drag and drop the connection from RGB and type chroma key here. We're going to choose MF Chroma Kia and from this emissive color make a connection to emissive color. Opacity goes to opacity and opacity goes one more time to opacity mask as well. Save the progress. So the material is finalized. Let's close it out. Now as you can see it's still not keyed out. Let's open the content browser again. Right click on this video material and choose create material instance. Drag and drop this material instance to the image plane. After dragging and dropping your material instance to the image plane, we have one more step to key out the green screen. Before we go there, go to window, content browser, content browser 1 and keep it aside. Open the content browser. In this content browser window, double click on the material instance and keep it aside. Turn on the key color, click on this green and then color picker and click on the green screen of yours and choose OK. As you can see the moment you did that your screen is keyed out and everything looks good. You can still see the borders to take care of that. Tick all the crops and let's push it a little bit back. Let's crop the right a bit. Not too much. Let's crop the top slightly and the bottom slightly and the left. So I've managed to crop all the sides and it looks neat. Let's save and close this out. Now the green screen is keyed out perfectly, but we are still pending with adding the information of all these three image planes to the level blueprint. Let's do that. Click on this icon and choose open level blueprint. Let's maximize the screen. We are going to tell Unreal Engine what should happen the moment you click on play button and it should retain all the three video sources which have created. So we'll begin by creating a node for event begin play. Let's zoom in. We'll be creating three variables for three different sequences which we have. We will rename all these three variables. We'll call the first one image sequence. We'll call the second one 
video file we'll call the third one live feed click on the image sequence and let's set it to media player the object type should be media player after choosing media player you need to click on compile for you to have this value in this drop down box we are going to choose image sequence this is the reason for me to create three different media players so that we will be able to reference each of them individually let's choose image sequence and click compile one more time let's click on video file now and let's change the variable type to media player again and click compile again and now the video file let's point it to the video sample media player which is playing the video file click compile again let's click on live feed and change the variable type to media player as well click compile and change the live feed to the media player which is pointing to the live camera source compile again now let's connect all these variables in the event graph drag and drop the image sequence variable get image sequence drag and drop this video file get video file drag and drop this live feed get live feed let's drag a connection from image sequence and we'll look for open source function let's move this a little aside we'll select the media source one more time which is pointing to the sequence image source so the renaming of your uh, sources and the media play is very important which will help you differentiate when you're especially assigning uh, functions here and i'll make a connection from even big play to this source and from the video file drag a connection and look for open source and set the media source to the video file same as before drag a connection from live feed and look for open source point this media source now we have something uh, which is referring to sequence and we have a file media source which is referring to the video file but we don't have any for the live feed we haven't created any reference so let's save this progress let's close it out let's create a reference for this live feed get inside your live feed media player and you would notice a link on the top have this copied control a select them all and control c copy minimizes window we will need to create something which will reference this video so right click media and choose stream media source i'll call this live source let's open that and in this you will paste that link which you copied so what this is doing this is telling unreal engine in this link you will find the live camera feed so let's have this minimized now that we have the reference for live feed as well let's open the level blueprint and now when you click on this media source we have an option to reference our live camera feed which is by the name live source click on that let's complete the connection drag and drop the connection from open source to this one and another from the second to the third one so that's the flow basically so what we're telling unreal engine the moment you click begin play open the source which is image sequence and then open the source which is video file and finally the live feed finally click on compile and save the progress close out this window and now let's test it let's click on the play button so now everything seems to be working fine the live feed is playing and the rear you can see video file and the image sequence playing already so our level blueprint function has worked the next step would be is to output this as a video we will be using a level sequencer now since everything is playing fine the moment i hit stop it will freeze all the image plane as you can see my video feed is freezed so is every other element on screen what happens is the moment you click play 
Unreal stops all the active media player and then using the level uh, blueprint it triggers all the media player functions. So to resume them just play all the media players back that's all. So getting inside media player the feed and let me turn on the sequence as well. Turning on the video sequence. Now everything is running. In the event, if you forget saving your progress and if the Unreal Engine crashes, the texture mat which you see here might get corrupted and you might require to delete and recreate the media player followed by the material texture. And also you need to get inside level blueprint and relink them all. So make sure to keep saving your progress then and there. Let's output this to a video file using level sequencer. I'm going to create a new level sequencer, right click cinematics level sequence. I'm going to call this out. I'll be adding animation to these two 3D characters as well. Opening the level sequencer. Let me add the two characters. We call headphone guys one. Add the second one headphone guy two. I'll set the duration of the animation to 600 frames. Let me save this quickly. I now have the dancing characters in the scene and also all my three elements are in place. Now let's try to add a camera and output this. So stopping this back to level sequencer. Let me keep this aside and let me add a camera. Let's see how it has come. And you can notice the image sequence is blank. We'll just start it up and it'll be fine. Okay, so that's our camera move. And if you see a sphere like this, it's your player start position. Make sure to get rid of it from your scene. If you leave your play start, it's always going to show as a spear in front of the camera. So I'm going to move this play start away from my scene. And now if I hit play, and now if I go all the way back, I'll not notice any sphere like that. Now that everything is all set for the render, I would recommend you to save everything and restart the Unreal Engine and then let's go for the render. Let's close out and reopen Unreal Engine and the project. Our project is loaded back. Let's start up all the media player. So I'll begin by sloping. Let's save. Let me play the sequencer. Just make sure it's looping. Save. Minimize. Let me fire up the camera feed. Camera is also ready. And we're already seeing the sources on the screen. Now there's the right time to render this out. Let's open the level sequencer. And let's make sure the animations are in place. Yes, they look good. To render this out, click on the render icon and uh, I'm choosing the video format as AVI 30 frames full HD a little bit of compression to it and I'm going to click on capture movie the moment you start render make sure your camera is on if it has gone to standby mode release it from standby mode and make sure your talent is ready or yourself ready and facing the camera and as required for the screen so right now it's playing and I'm not seeing anything on the left yet. The right is fine. Let's see what could be the problem here. Uh, 
so I'm just looking to my left right and as you can see the video feed is very slow it could be because of the capture card performance since I have a generic capture card it could be that reason or it could be something else as well I'll keep you all posted as to why the slowdown would occur it could be a system performance as well since I'm recording and doing multiple things at the same time the video is rendered out let's see how it looks I notice the scene is looking a little bit darker I am barely seeing the video on the left side the right one is playing fine and my video feed is choppy it's slow and also I'm noticing uh, something is coming up on the left screen as well so it, it is playing but it started late so that's the reason let's try to re-render one more time and this time we'll increase the brightness for the scene a bit let's look for post process volume and let's fire up the details tab and here let's choose for brightness okay I've increased a lot of brightness for now let me quickly uh, take a look at the blueprint and see everything is fine they look okay so is the sources uh, the scenes brightness is way too much because we increase the post process volume uh, let's try to render this out and see how it looks opening up the level sequencer best practice would be to test the media player save it and close it out before rendering out from the level sequencer so let's uh, try to uh, render this out this way and see if it works so clicking on render setting it to AVI and click on stop here make sure everything is fine capture movie save and let's see how it is this time make sure your camera is playing as well now you can see both the left and the right are playing fine and my camera is up as well uh, let me see how the camera feed looks now I can see it's still slow so possibly you can test it out on your end and tell me how the performance was since I'm recording this video it could slow down as well okay so the render is done let's check the video both the video sources are playing fine The camera feed is choppy though, but we managed to composite all these three elements as a video using sequencer. That was the workflow for integrating three types of video sources to the scene. Hope you found this useful. We haven't perfectly accomplished the composite though. The video source was having some issue, there was slowdown. It could be possibly because of my own system performance since I'm recording and playing this simultaneously. Because when I was testing this with Unreal and my camera alone, it was fine. It was still slowing down though. Uh, but now that after recording, it's further slow. Try to replicate the same on your end and test with your setup and tell me how it was. We'll keep exploring this virtual production series. Do subscribe to the channel. Do share it to your friends and family who would like to know the basics of DMX workflow and the virtual production as well. See you all soon on another video. I'm Raj Shekhar. Bye. Take care.